guys and welcome to the family fudge this week on what's cooking Wednesday I'm making another dish on the lighter side today I'm making a yummy chicken stir-fry this quick cooking stir-fry is full of flavor but it's way faster and probably healthier than takeout this is another good example that a healthier recipe doesn't have to lack in flavor so stay tuned and I will show you how to make it now as always, before we get started, make sure to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already, and go ahead and click the bell notification. That way you know every time I upload a new yummy recipe. Now the great thing about this chicken stir fry is that it's totally customizable. If you don't like any of these ingredients, feel free to swap them out for something you do like. And this recipe also serves about six people. Here's what you're going to need. I am starting with one and a half pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breasts, which I've cut into strips. Now to make this quick and easy, I'm using a 16 ounce bag of frozen vegetables. And these are the Asian style vegetables. There's no sauce or seasoning, but it's a mixture of broccoli, carrots, sugar snap peas, and water chestnuts. Now to this, I'm also going to be adding one onion, which I'm going to chop, and three cloves of garlic. I'm going to cook this in a little bit of toasted sesame oil. It really adds such good flavor to this, but if you don't have this, you can use any other cooking oil you prefer. I'm also going to use a couple tablespoons of hoisin sauce. This is really very tasty. You can find this on the Asian food aisle, and it's not expensive at all. It's basically like an Asian barbecue sauce, so it's gonna add a lot of flavor to our stir fry. It's really easy and quick. Now I'm also going to be using a little bit of red pepper flakes just to spice it up and some salt and pepper to taste. Now I'm making this into a rice bowl, but instead of using regular rice, I'm going to use some riced cauliflower. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by steaming up this in a separate pot on the stove. But if you'd like to have yours on regular rice, go right ahead. So while the cauliflower is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping my onion. I want pretty small pieces here so that they cook quickly. Up next, to a large pan over medium heat, I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of oil. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken. I'm gonna spread this out into a nice thin layer. I'm going to add some salt and some pepper and cook this until it's no longer pink. When the chicken is cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from the pan. Next, I'm going to turn the heat up on my pan to medium high and add a little bit more oil. To the oil, I'm going to add my chopped onions. And I'm gonna go ahead and cook these until they're just softened. I wanna give them a head start because I don't want any crunchy onions in my dish. Next, I'm going to add the rest of the veggies to my onions. And I'm gonna go ahead and cook this for just a few minutes or until the vegetables are softened. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken back in. Then comes the hoisin sauce. Now, like I said, you can add anywhere between two to three or even four tablespoons of this sauce. It all depends on how much you like. Next, I'm going to add just a pinch of red pepper flakes. If you like your spicy, go ahead and add more. I'm also going to go ahead and add a little bit more salt and pepper to your tastes, of course. And that is it. I like to serve this over some riced cauliflower and call it a day. It smells so good in here, you guys. I hope you love it. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what kind of stir fry you like to make. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.